There is now a modded category for the high quota leaderboards where you try to get as high of a quota as possible while playing on Brutal Company Minus. So I used that opportunity to take my first look at both Brutal Company Minus and version 64 of Lethal Company at the same time. It's been a while since I've played Lethal Company and I felt that the best way to ease myself back in would be to send an assurance only high quota run. So that's what I'm featuring here in this video. The modded high quota leaderboards have the same eligible requirements as the regular ones, so the goal for this run is to complete at least 7 quotas as a solo employee. I plan on giving the other modded high quota categories a go live on Twitch, so follow me there to catch my runs live and subscribe to the channel here where I'll be posting the runs afterwards. But that's all I have for the intro, so let's get into the run. I've seen like some stuff on how the bag works. I actually don't even think I'm going to use the bag all that much. We'll, we'll see. Maybe... Hmm. How much does the belt bag even cost? 45? That's not bad, actually. I think belt bag can be useful on some of the more aggressive moons. Where I'll need a shovel for the interior and maybe some flashbangs for the exterior. Especially for solo play. Like, a lot of times, I felt like bringing a so shovel and stun grenade was kind of excessive. Because you use up two inventory slots for situations that might not even happen. But now I can kind of bring it in using only one inventory slot. And usually on the on the more dangerous moons, you should be bringing a shovel anyway. So I might I might as well you like bring flashbangs and make myself safe from giants and stuff at the same time. I don't know how relevant that's going to be for this run though, because if I do assurance only, then I'm not going to experience a lot anyway. So yeah. So, well first, let's let's make sure that Brutal Company is working. Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, how can I, can I, is it K? What does this mean? Charging station offline, no more sharks and move. No more sharks, I'm assuming, is no thumpers. No charging station probably doesn't matter because I'm not using a flashlight. Move, I have no idea what that means, but I probably should keep things pushing. Is- is it- is it gonna- is it gonna be landmines? If it's landmines, then that's gonna be a crazy way to come back to the game. Are they moving landmines? Is that what- is that what I've signed up for? Hello, Mr. Spore Lizard. Okay. And we got main entrance here. Large axle. I don't know why I picked that up and decided to just turn around and drop. I will say though that uh, in my assurance only run that I played that I, you know, can't submit, I played it in update 40 because I think, well, I don't, do I need two keys right now? I'm going to take two keys. I have them. I played it in update 40 because I wanted to revisit a simpler version of Lethal Company. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna check behind here. I could have seen that there was nothing back here, but whatever. I'm gonna run right in front of it. I don't think I die. Because well, I think like all the additions to Lethal Company have been cool. I think it's a lot to keep track of at the same time. but. So I felt like going back to V40 would be a good, simple way to revisit things. If the belt pack could pick up landmines. I saw that there's a mod that you can pick up landmines. I don't, I don't think it's approved for modded, H qu modded high quota, but... Hmm. I will say, though, that in the run that, you know, has no audio, I kind of just land left a bunch of times on Assurance, and it was good enough. I didn't run into the networks like I'm doing right now. But I don't think I can afford to not run into the networks for this particular run. Didn't get lucky at the entrances, so... I'm getting slightly luckier here, it seems. Was there a Bracken? I didn't see one. Uh, 
suit. I didn't even set up my lethal tracker. That was another thing too. I just ran it pure vanilla. No, no calculators, no anything really. And I kind of just had to pray that I collected enough on my... Please move. I had to pray that I was collecting enough on all... What is... I'm just kind of running into him. I don't think it matters too much. Belt bags can carry keys, yeah. So, on day one, I'm already seeing a reason to have keys. <laughs> or not, not keys, but the belt bag. Watching this as I play Satisfactory. Haven't heard of that game. I see two beehives now. Let's take a quick scan in 83. I don't know if I'll run that one, but I'll run the one... Well, maybe I will, actually. I have time. Because I'm not sure how much more I'll go inside. Because I have... I feel like I have a decent amount of loot here. In order to get to the high quota leaderboard, I only need around 230 per day. And I have to complete seven quotas. And in order to do that, you don't need to go too hard. And in the run that I did, I almost completed eight quotas, being kind of chill. I was only short, like, 200 of completing eighth quota, and that was a lot closer than I thought. So if I had just played slightly more aggressively, or if I just knew the numbers, I probably would have done so. But I didn't. And you know what? I think if I completed eight quotas, I would have been more upset about that run not being valid because I feel like the difference between completing seven and eight quotas is kind of crazy well I guess maybe not if I was able to do it chill because on s my seventh quota for that run was almost 1300 and then my eighth quota was closer to 1600 so I had I, I really didn't think I was anywhere close to completing eight and then I saw it, I'm like, oh, okay. Good to know for future reference. How's it going, Mykoof? Should I do Gambas? If you'd like to. It's going to be an assurance only uh, high quota run, so keep it. Keep them relevant to that. How's it going, Anthran? Oh, shoot. I hope you're doing well, brother. I've been told some stories. Forsaken Frontiers. Forsaken Frontiers coming out soon. I've been working on my Forsaken Frontiers videos, mostly just kind of... Uh, oh, well, hold on. Dude. Okay, it's been, it's been a while, guys, since I've ran a beehive, and this one's not the easiest one, so give me a moment. <laughs> I heard that, uh, Nico joined you guys on the... on your high quota run the other day. Well, actually, that might... I say you guys, but, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, I, I think that's why he joined Anthran, or why there was a slot available to him. <laughs> but that's, a, that's about as far as the stories go. So. I heard you were dead, and that was that. So, glad that you're still alive, my friend. Okay. Oh wait, I still have stuff at main. Did I get the stuff at main first? Yeah, I think I get the stuff at main first. Whatever, I'm already here. Buffalo Trace? What's Buffalo Trace? <laughs> oh, it's a type of whiskey. Heard that. Wait, I feel like I left loot here. Okay, why did I leave it inside? Whatever. I must be... I must be comp or something. I'll come back for that. I think... 557... I will say... That this time is a lot later than I stayed on my... Uh, unofficial assurance run. I think most of the most of the days in my unofficial run, I left like before 2 p.m. But I think it's because I got kind of lucky on loot most of the time. I did make a mistake though of not buying a jetpack and TZP sooner. I kind of just did it with no equipment most of the time, and then I realized that I had three thousand dollars that I wasn't spending, 
Like, wait a minute, I can kind of do some quality of life stuff here. I was using a V40 jetpack, though. So, um, that was something I had to get used to again. Didn't die, at least. Oh. Wait. Is this, is this death here? Okay, this might be a little risky, but whatever, fuck it. Nah, it looks like we're good. We'd have to make sure we outpace the worm. We know the worm is behind us now, so that's good. As long as they save a little bit of stamina and don't come across a dog in front, we'll be okay. This isn't a V40 worm- oh, shit. Yeah, we're good. So we're gonna be safe for this. How's it going, Elixia? First time chat came here from YouTube. Hope stream is going well. Welcome in. This is my first stream in a while, so... I just... What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume that's allowed. Because... I didn't download anything other than... Brutal Company Minus and some of the approved mods... For High Quota HQ. I did see that there were like two plushies. I'm like you know what? I didn't see anything on the on the rule board to disable those. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in. Only solo today? Yeah, for now. Um, most of the people I play with aren't available until much much later. But I'm I'm not entirely sure if I want my stream times to be much much later. I think my personal schedule works better with earlier stream times. Nicely fashioned gentleman. Apocalypse, but better. No idea what that means. Not gonna worry about it. It seems like we might get some butlers, though. That sounds like butlers. Uh. Uh. What is that? Uh, okay, well, I'm not going anywhere near that. Not gonna hold you guys. <laughs> not gonna go near that. I I collected enough on day one in order to have enough for two days. It was 461. That's like exactly on pace. What are we allowing here in this high quota run? Don't look down. I'll try not to. I heard that you can actually look up and down a lot more in version 64. That's kind of cool. I also saw that... Please... Me neither, bro. What's going on? Do I, do I find out earlier? Do I find out early? You'll play every planet with high quota. For this one, I'm doing assurance only. But at some point, you know. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how much... I... S okay, but there's a... Oh. Okay. No, you don't hear anything, dude. These things are creepy. What the hell is this? So it wasn't the zombies that was saying that? I'm not even going back for that egg beater, dude. I'm good. <laughs> Wait, are there meteors? I heard that there's like a new meteor weather that has a very low percent chance of spawning. I haven't looked too much into it though. Squeeze them. You know what would make this day better? Wine or food? 
Yeah, I agree. How about? Yay! Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we don't encounter any meteors today. Good enough. Good enough. Wait, can I squeeze him too? Hello? You should get a walkie-talkie so I can call you. Is that an actual thing? Will he talk to me if I get a walkie-talkie? 0.6%? Okay. It's not too high of a percent, but let's see. If we do seven quotas, that's 21 days. So 21 rolls on a 0.6. Got 135. Getting no weather, though. That was another thing on the on my last assurance run. I got no eclipses and no storm. Beautiful day to go outside. Bzz. Okay, so does that mean I saw a beehive underneath? So that's good. Locusts. It seems like we're getting some pretty some pretty tame events here. So brutal company so far not entirely brutal, other than. Unless that- unless that guy was actually very dangerous. I didn't stick around long enough to figure it out. Probably not going to. Rain's broken? Hmm. I don't mind that. Is there a door under here? There is. Oh, It's actually just an apparatus and a loot room. So many keys! Why am I getting some- they really want me to get a belt back. Did Zeekers like increase the- the key spawn chance or something? Wasn't an entity? Or... I hope so. Is this two-handed? No you're not. I- I should have known that an the answer to that already. Another V-Tite. That that's a turret at the end of this as well. Might as well send all the keys, right? Oh. Got main right here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run some stuff to main then. Okay, apparently I needed all of the keys. That's cool. At least, you know, I know where to get some keys. Let's grab this. Imagine if I had a belt bag to be able to carry all the keys. I should have just bought one off rip, huh? If especially since I had no... I wasn't planning on buying anything to begin with. Wait, do I just... I think I just run this and then I go back through fire exit, huh? I think that's fine. And then I can run this beehive that's in the middle as well. How's it going, Kamikuro? Did I miss much? Not really. We're on we're on day two of my assurance only uh, modded high quota run. Or day three actually. We're on day three. Day two had some weird dude just kind of singing and talking to himself. Which was a bit unnerving to me, so I decided to leave kinda early. But other than that, I think we're doing pretty okay. This is meant to be kind of a chill run, and then Brutal Company will be the reason why that changes. Oh, there's another beehive right there. Cool, so we actually get two beehives. How much does Brutal Company change? It, ha it, ju it basically just adds some random events. I didn't see how many there were, but there's quite a bit. And since it's Brutal Company minus, uh, the severity of them kind of varies, it seems. So far, I haven't gotten anything, like, too game-breaking. But, yeah. Because the, the original Brutal Company makes it so that the game is almost impossible to play, but I believe Brutal Company Minus is intended 
to have the game still be playable with some random modifiers. One of them being, uh, the beehives being different values. Am I seeing this correctly? Because normally the bees are not worth different amounts. Unless I just misread how much that first beehive was worth. Because I think I would have had more of a reaction to the first beehive if it was worth 96. I mean, 96 isn't necessarily a high roll on beehives either. But, uh... It's more than I thought. Two oh nine. Now we can go get some stuff over at the fire exit, including the apparatus. Will I go back for the bottles at the main entrance? We'll see. I think it depends on how easy this is. Go. There's a lot of trees and a lot of locusts. I believe that's part of Brutal Company Minus because it said locusts as one of the Brutal Company events. Okay, hoarding bug. Good thing I came back then. Hey. This isn't where the apparatus was, right? The apparatus was down. I think. I think it was. Don't remember. I believe this door was unlocked, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that the hoarding bug took the keys. And not worry too much about those bottles. Because again, this is already really, really good for the run. <gasps> I wasn't supposed to fall. Well, might as well commit and bring this all the way back. And I'll come back for the apparatus. Yeah, I think, like, it might be worth- it might be worth getting them. We'll see. If I end up regretting missing bot like, one bottles and it cost me the run, then so be it. I don't think it will, though. I think there are a lot more factors that can happen that would cost me the run. And I think over- like, overextending is one of them. Okay, we have worm. We have a worm. Well, let's try not to die to the worm. I will go back for the apparatus, though. I think that's a worthwhile... A worthwhile trek. Don't get 20 explosive eggs. I haven't even seen an egg yet. I heard that, uh... Well, last I checked, the egg drop thing isn't, uh... Or... Is fixed. I also saw that version 64... Or in version 64, there's no more... Uh, Val wall jump. That's probably the change that I'm... What the hell is that? Why is there a turret outside? Okay. Well, good thing it's facing the wall. <laughs> that turret, if it was facing the other way, I probably would have died. Okay, so noted. Might have to watch out for outdoor hazards on future runs. Didn't have to worry about it this run, though. Yeah, so that the fire escape wall jump doesn't work in version 64 anymore. So you kind of just have to play Val as intended, quote-unquote. Has mines outside, too? Good to know. I actually have to tank this B damage, or else I won't be able to collect both of them. Cool. Oh, another thing that I learned while playing V... V40, guys. <laughs> um... I remember... early on in my Lethal Company... YouTube journey... there were times when... me and Nico, we would... like, fuss over making sure that when we collected beehives... that the game showed that we collected the beehive in the bottom right corner. And I've been told many, many times that... that's not a thing, and that we're worrying for nothing. Uh, which is true now, which is true now, because now, as long as the scrap is in the ship, it'll be collected at the end of the day. That's why, uh, 
the dropping loot through the top of the ship thing works. But when I was playing in version 40, if I learned that if your scrap does not collect on the bottom right, then your scrap does not collect for the day at all. So you, you just loot, like the scrap that didn't show up as collected will despawn from your ship. I learned that because I tried the drop strat from in version 40, and I lost all the scrap that I dropped into the ship during that run. So I think that whole thing about me and Nico making sure that our beehives collected at the end of the day came from that. We played at a we started playing at a time where that actually mattered. But it doesn't matter now. So I think the people who are telling us that are people who either didn't play before that time or just didn't worry about or didn't notice until later. But anyway, we gotta sell 130. See if we can get 130 exactly. I saw that, I mean I have the apparatus for 80. And then I see some stuff for 56. I even saw something for 53. I might just get close instead of getting exact. Unless unless 96 and 40 is better. I see 112. Dying trying to sell egg on quota 8. Um. I mean, I, I whenever I try to sell an egg, I make sure that I'm like the most safe I can be just because of how possible something like that is. I'm going to oversell by six. I don't really care. Pablo gets it. I just don't know when they fixed that. But at some point, we stopped worrying about it and it became a lot easier to collect beehives properly. And then being able to drop loot through the top of the ship became a viable strat, but I didn't learn that one until much later. I think it still works in B64. I don't see why it wouldn't. How's it going, Backfish? I, I'm, I am playing with mods. I'm playing with Brutal Company Minus. That's the main mod, and then the other ones are just quality of life mods that are allowed in the high quota runs. I'm basically following the rules that are on high, the high quota HQ website, because ideally I can submit this run as a as you know a leaderboard submission that's what I'm going for here I don't know what backfish is fire exit jump and offense no longer works I would believe that <laughs> it seems like uh the changes oh wow 193 second quote is really good for me actually it seems like the changes are kind of uh intended for people to play the maps as Zeekers wants them to play and rather than you know finding like exploits or whatever to make things more viable I don't necessarily agree with that but you know creator vision is a thing he's allowed to do what he wants it means fried fish in German hey I like some fried fish but you know, it's it's because of the changes that have been in the re recent Lethal Company stuff that have made me just want to actually play most of my Lethal Company in previous versions. That's why I did my Assurance run in version 40. Now, I'm, I didn't... I'm playing in version 64 today because, you know, I, I came into this with the intention of doing an Assurance-only run to begin with. And a lot of the changes that have come into recent Lethal Company patches don't affect Assurance all too much. Or at least my pers my experience with Assurance. So it doesn't really matter which version I play on. So long as it's not version 56 where Assurance only kind of gets cooked by Kidnapper Foxes. Um, so I figured this would be a good way to check out the new update. I mean, not necessarily the best way to check out version 64 since this won't highlight anything other than the belt bag when it, whenever I decide to buy it. But I feel like... Playing in the new update in any capacity is better than just kind of avoiding it completely. So, uh, yeah. I don't think I pull that yet. That feels too early to pull the apparatus. The one with the scaffold still works. Heard that. I'll have to get better at that one. The one jump, where, like the one actual skill jump for that is the reason why I haven't done the scaffolding jump, but I guess now I have a reason to learn it. I could also just make sure I land the pipe jump the first for the uh, the first time as well. 
And then... Uh, I won't have to worry about it after that. How's it going, Queen Frosty? It seems like the run's going okay so far. I'm trying not to die to random turrets, so I might actually peace out on this day kind of early. It's kind of- it's a privilege that I've earned from over-earning on some of the other moons. I'll let- my goal is to make it on the leaderboard, not necessarily set a world record. Though I don't- I don't think anyone is on the modded high quota leaderboards yet, so... Just by completing a run by default sets a world record, I guess. But world records have never really interested me. I think the format is what gets- is what uh, interests me most. And that has always been true, just whenever there's a challenge, I'll do it, and then the ideal outcome is that someone watches me do it or becomes aware of the challenges because I do it, and then goes and set the world record themselves. And I've been told that there's been a lot of uh, submissions to at least the single moon high quota runs. Not gonna say that I'm completely responsible for that, but I have been told that people have been running it because of me as well, so that's kind of cool. And now that there's modded HQ and basically an empty leaderboard, kind of trying to do that again here. Dread the day Zeke bring back that damn fox. You know, one of the one of the angles that I want to do eventually is add the kidnapper fox back into the game myself. Because what what ends up being a good content angle for Lethal Company is directly facing everyone's pain points, Kidnapper Fox being one of them. And it was the first thing I wanted to do in V60, but uh, the Yes Kidnapper Fox mod wasn't working at the time of filming, so it's unfortunate. And then that's when I decided to kind of step away from Lethal Company a bit, so it never happened. But I don't, I don't miss a Kidnapper Fox at all. And by down patching, I'll probably never have to face him ever again. Until he gets added back into an official patch, and then I'm obligated. Hello? Hello? Do we find out if this is an actual entity, guys? Man. Okay, I think it's actually just you. This is very unnerving to hear, playing by myself, by the way. And that's kind of like... Part of the... <laughs> part of the solo experience. When you hear someone that's not you in the distance... And, it's like, and you don't know what it does. Or what it means. Then that can be kind of unnerving. <laughs> Yo, how's it going, Harrison? I have no idea what's happening, dude. I kind of- I'm kind of going into this blind. <laughs> but we're- we're doing some- high, we're going- we're doing some high quota lethal company today. Modded, if- um, if that hasn't been made clear yet. And I still don't know what this singing man is. I picked up the loot that was singing and there was still someone else singing in the distance. Maybe that means there's more plushies that I haven't seen yet. But yeah, less of that could be cool. I don't- I wouldn't mind the less of that. I heard that there's a lot of events in Brutal Company Minus. We don't need any overlap in our first two quotas. I, why do I feel like I'm gonna get insta-killed by something stupid? Is it really just these zombies? Oh, there's a spider. Okay. Go. Oh, how's it going, June? Thank you, thank you. It's been a while, it's been a while. Kind of trying to warm up to the idea of playing Lethal Company again. And the modded high quota leaderboards has been... Um... Has caught my attention. So, that's probably where I'm going to be at for the rest of the next month or so. Seems pretty- it seems easy enough to just load in and kind of do all- try out all the- <laughs> Try out all the spots on the high quota leaderboard that way. How's it going, Cynic? Hello, hello.
Also gonna try out a Brutal Company minus Iron Man at some point. I know that's not really an official format, but... Just kind of see, testing the waters, seeing what events there are in Brutal Company Minus. So far we have Singing Man. I don't know what that is. I've had Locusts. It seems like not a lot actually. This kind of seems like chill, lethal company. That's kind of what I'm going for with the Assurance only run as well. Just keep- okay, well, hold on. This seems less chill. Spikes, Nature's Architects at work. Uh... Oh hey, wait. Scrap seems to be valued more. <laughs> I think uh, Lethal Company tends to- Okay, if I get insta-spiked here, I feel like I might get insta-spiked here. We only play chill Lethal Company here. Hmm. Okay. I hear a spike. Really? Okay, so I have to open this. T2. Wait. I want to play with the company, but don't have anyone to play with at the moment. That's... That's kind of why I, I ended up getting into solo as well. I mean, I, I know that... Wait, are you gonna come up here? I don't... I don't know if this rock is... Oh god, wait. This might be a mistake. Can you come back? 119? Okay, wait, no, I have to get that. Alright, fuck it. We're running. I had no game plan going into that beehive run, but it seems like it worked out okay. Why not turn the power on? You know, because I forgot which way I had to- which- which way the power is supposed to go. So, the, it turns out the- turns out the power is off. Uh... I have been full Dead by Daylight brain and forgot everything about Lethal Company, including which way the breaker is pointing for on and off. Are there mods for higher employee ranks? I believe so. There, there's like, there's a mod that, you, that even has its own ranking system and kind of um, leans more into like the corporate side of Lethal Company, which I thought was kind of cool. Okay. Now we see spikes. By the way, I've had- I've encountered a lot of turrets that probably would have killed me on other runs. Maybe being away from Lethal Company gives me better reaction times to turrets or something? I don't know. Even in like the Assurance run where my audio was messed up, uh, there were a lot of- there were a lot of turrets that I could have died to and then just didn't die to. So you know what, I'll take that. Yeah, it, it was- The lights were all one direction, but look, the light- the lights are on, right? Otherwise I wouldn't have lights here. Okay, I think this is enough. Mostly because I have a lot of two-handed items, and I want to make sure that I secure the beehive as well. The beehive being worth one nine. Oh wait, there's two beehives even. So these beehives being worth what they are. If I just secure the two beehives, I already have enough for that I need for the day. And then... Anything else... Is extra credit. <laughs> Bro, wait. Okay. Hopefully I don't run myself into the other beehive doing this. That wouldn't be good. Oh, you're right. Didn't think about that. Would have been easy enough, huh? That's, um... Oh god, really? Okay, well things got slightly more complicated. But that's never stopped me. You just have to- I just have to play with slightly more stamina than I- than I normally would. Oh, there's- Okay, so I'm not allowed to miss this jump or else I land into a puddle. Wait, that's a puddle, right? Or is that just- 
You know I'm not gonna test it, because this side's a lot darker. Get some stamina back. I don't know why I keep dropping it there when dropping it closer to the entrance might be better for the solo run. But it's okay. Uh oh, run through just in case. Okay, now at least now we know that the worm is behind me. The worm positioning is important. I'm getting I'm getting the beehives first before I get the scrap. I think this is the hardest part. Also, this beehive's in my way anyway. Okay. Save some stamina for the worm. Go around this way. Do I make this? I think I do. No, not yet. I, slightly closer, it'll be safer. Because I don't want to take too much damage here, because I'm going to have to take some damage to secure the beehives as well, so... Okay. Now we can go get the scrap that I left in front. I don't know how many trips I'll make, though. At least one, so I can get the cookie mold plan. Cookie mold pan plus one. And that'll already put us at around 300 for the day, which is sufficient. It would be very embarrassing to die to a worm now, but not out of the realm of possibility. We're gonna take the bottles that are worth- okay, well they're kind of worth a lot, all of these. So if I'm going to run through this worm, I kind of have to commit to the bit, I think. Just save enough stamina to do that. Yeah, so you're committing to the bit. Just run through. Thank you, uh, nerfed worm, for not just killing me right away. Wait, can I jump on this still? Okay. Can I drop this through? Yes, I can. Now I know the worm is somewhere over that way. I don't know if I'll get that lucky again, though. We'll see. Down to test it. Uh, I don't know when worm got nerfed. It wasn't version 64, but worm doesn't insta-pop like it used to back when the worm used to kill me all the time. I knew I wasn't crazy dying to the worm all the time when I first started playing this game. And now people recognize that insta-pop worm is kind of unfair. <laughs> but I got ragged on a lot for dying to worm back when insta-pop worm was a thing. There are some deaths that I will concede being ragged on for. Such as dying to slimes all the time. That's a skill issue every time, no matter what patch. Dying to insta pop worm just kind of sucks, though. Thanks for the follow, smiling figs. It seems like my Twitch notifications aren't working. So I'm just gonna have to make sure I catch everyone manually. Oh, you know what? I think I know why. I'll fix it after I leave here. Okay, then we get this one. Let me let me make sure my stream elements is on. Stream element source. Okay, now it is. There we go. How much did I get for the 383? Yeah. We're more than on pace. Especially with this low of a second quota also, 193. For this kind of run, we want lower quotas. Hey. 
been binging the YouTube videos. Let's go. Happy to uh, catch you at a Twitch stream then as well. I've been taking a break from Lethal Company, but um, it's time to stop taking a break and get back into the into the swing of things. And now that there's modded high quota, you now I have a context to come back to. That seemed interesting. Getting a B is insane. I have no idea what uh, or how the grades work. Um. Yeah, that's the end of thought. <laughs> you know, 400 hours of Lethal Company and I never learned how the moon grades worked. It just never seemed that important. The only the only numbers or grading I've learned is the number of scrap out of the number of available scrap. Or in this case, it's just raw scrap, really, because the performance report doesn't account for beehives and apparatus still, even in update 64. And so, yeah. 193, let's get 193 somehow. I wish, uh, <laughs> you know, if there's one thing I wish was allowed, it would be the minimum quota calculator thing. But I guess, like, you know, where it highlights whatever scrap you need to meet the quota. I guess uh, being able to sell properly is the expression of skill, but it's not one that I'm really interested in. I think messing <laughs> messing up the number can be an expression of lack of skill. Lost a lot of runs that way. 179. Let's get something cheap then. Oh wait, there's 119. I don't know if I- I haven't been getting a lot of like low value scrap, which is kind of insane. I wonder if that's like- I, I know that Brutal Company has scrap multipliers, so I feel like that can be part of it, but I don't think that's the whole spiel, you know. I do think that, like, to get S tier, though, you have to get closer to full clearing, I think. And then grade is- I think grade is also determined by how many people live and die on your runs also. But I mean, since I'm playing solo, as long as I don't personally die, then it is what it is. I'm gonna oversell because it is what it is. Oh yeah, there we go. Just as Acid said, based on scrap you get plus if someone dies or not. I don't know the exact thresholds. I remember uh, Purple posted them in my Discord some time ago. But since I don't really pay attention to the grades, it's not something that stuck with me. Should I buy a belt bag? I'm gonna buy a belt bag. I, I haven't even seen what this thing looks like in-game. I've seen it in thumbnails, but that's about it. Anything on sale? I th oh, you know what? I wonder if I can- I could probably just stack TZPs in this bag too, huh? But I think I want to buy a jetpack first before I start stacking TZPs. Okay. Ah yes. Looks much like my fanny pack in real life. <laughs> can I wear this? Oh, you can check the bag like this? That's cool. You, you think Zeker's made it so you can look down just so you can check your bag? Uh, maybe, I don't know if I'll put anything in it though. Maybe if I bring back keys or something. But do I really want to commit 16 pounds of weight? For a key holder? <laughs> Wait, I can- I can check the bag while it's on the ground? Interesting. Alright, that's two quotas down. Five more to go, for the leaderboard at least. It's funny, because when I did my Assurance only high quota run off stream, it was just supposed to be a regular high quota run. And I was gonna go to Titan after first quota, and I thought, you know what? I'm having it such a good time on Assurance, and I'm on pace to complete seven quotas, why not just stay here? Balls. Quite a lot of them. Hmm. This seems dangerous. Some tur hold on. I think I might want to read this before I continue. Oh, is it soccer ball? Some turrets have turned into scrap? Look up. Snare fleas, maybe? 
I looked up. I'm looking up. Wait, what is this? What? I've never. I don't think I've ever seen this. Like this room connected into this room. Is that crazy or am I tripping? This makes me not want to like go too fast into the facility. That doesn't look like scrap. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, that don't look like scrap. Okay, let's go into the fog. This is my attempt at becoming a Dead by Daylight Fog Whisperer. I'm gonna whisper into the fog. I want to do a Dead by Daylight challenge where I try to get a win on every killer with no perks and no add-ons. I've been playing mostly Survivor in Dead by Daylight because I've almost exclusively been playing with friends. I think in my time away and focusing on Dead by Daylight, I've only played solo like once. Okay. Uh, store tool. How do I do this? Guys, how do I put the key in here? <laughs> Wait, I'm losing valuable time figuring- I can figure this out in orbit. I don't need to figure it out right now. Drop the key? Oh word. That's intuitive. I appreciate that. That's... Especially since there's a store tool button, I thought there would be one for the key as well. Austin's seen the thumbnails of the belt bag videos, but hasn't watched them, it seems. <laughs> okay. Anything crazy? Miss anything? Um... Not sure. It's kind of been a chill, assurance only run for the time being. Okay, got a soccer ball. I think there was a second one even. Let's see if let's see if I got the moves. That answered my question pretty fast. I thought that was fixed. <laughs> I thought skill issues were fixed in version 64. It seems that is not the case. Hopefully that soccer ball isn't the difference in my run. Oh wait, not punished. I actually kicked it all the way up here. This is not a third soccer ball, it's just I had the craziest kick that put the soccer ball all the way up here. Huh? Tell me it's down here at least, okay. Okay. It's just like real life soccer physics. Oh no. Okay, trying not to collide it with anything weird. Cuz it seems it se and it seems like if I go fast, the ball trajectory changes. A very not helpful way. Okay, here's how we fix that. We just switch balls. Okay. Um, anyone, anyone excited for Blue Lock Season 2, by the way? I saw that Blue Lock Season 2 is going to cover the entire uh, under 20 match, which is pretty sick. It's get, it looks like it's getting the the short season uh, treatment though. It's gonna be 14 episodes rather than the standard, I guess, 24 through 26. But it's also it also seem makes it seem like it's getting the high Q season four treatment, where the entire season is just gonna be that one match, which is cool. So under 20 blue lock match is one of my favorite arcs in the sh in the show, in the series. Okay, let's let's put these keys in this belt bag. I have two of them. Okay, that didn't work. 
Do I have to... Okay, I didn't, clearly didn't watch. <laughs> Drop them, then Q. Oh. Thank you for that. Alright, Eclipse Assurance. Oh, well, let's not kick the soccer ball. I don't even have to play this, honestly. I'm going to, though. Heiki Goku, let's... I'm gonna get at least one inventory. This Eclipse Assurance isn't even that bad. Unless I get a giant or something. Huh? <laughs> Just wait until I'm all grown up. Okay. If they're gonna spawn me Goku dolls that are worth that much, then it's definitely worth coming here. Alright, yeah, we get one full inventory of Gokus and then call it a day. These don't even weigh that much, that's crazy. Please don't make a lot of noise. Let's see what kind of enemies we got. We might see our first eyeless dog of the run. Or better yet, we see absolutely nothing. We see absolutely nothing. But I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh. Two worms. So it seems like the door doesn't work today? It doesn't even tell me what's going on here. Well that's good. Imagine if I aggroed a dog and relied on that. Very realistic Goku imitation. 281 from one inventory, I'd say that's pretty solid. Okay. First eclipse, done well. Terminal console offline. Early bird catches the worm. Door system overdrive. Hmm. What else do we got? That's it? Gotcha. That mean the Dora can go crazy on me? Oh, well. If only I had brought my belt bag, I'd be in a good, good spot here. But I have time. I might just start bringing the belt bag for the cause. Or maybe I bring I start bringing the belt bag once I can get my jetpack. That way I... There's no cost, really. It's not like I'm staying long enough to where being one inventory... Or one inventory slot short is gonna make much of a difference. Where the... Oh, okay. We definitely go back though because there was a loot room behind that locked door. Is that what that means? It's only worms? That's a, the thing with only worms. I'm fine with that. Um, as long as, you know, I don't get double tapped by a worm. Like I did in that one experimentation run. It's when I have to deal with worm plus dog or something. When it starts to get a little precarious. Cause then, then my st stamina management becomes a bit harder. After that. Stamina management versus multiple worms is not too bad. Can still get caught out of position, but I'd rather outplay two worms than outplay one worm and a dog. Almost every time. And now we're getting the eggs. Okay. Oh, tea kettle. Okay, we're gonna check this room over here real quick. Garbage lid. No sound effect on pickup, by the way. Another key. The 
pick up this, pick up this, close that, pick up this. We're gonna take this. Oh, it wasn't up here, was it? It was straight ahead. Because we could take this all back in one inventory. Not dropping the eggs yet. How's it going, Cosmo? I haven't been practicing my Fortnite, but I'm still prepared. Let's do this again. I can't see the soccer ball when I kick it, but if you're looking at the soccer ball while you while you uh, play soccer, you're being inefficient probably. So this is like training for dribbling in real life. <laughs> that's a that's a valid take, smiling figs. What? I think on day one I tried hiding the garbage can lid on top of actual landmines to encourage people to pick it up. So if anyone wants to prank their friends and hasn't used that tech yet, uh, feel free to. Cause how would they know? Actually, the the thing would beep, wouldn't it? They would know. I'm not gonna know. They're gonna know. Always stare at them before picking up true. If a red light ends up popping, then it's not a good one to pick up. I feel that Cosmo, not gonna lie. Kinda why I've been away for as long as I was. But um that's also why I'm keeping it kinda simple today. I mean, I, shit. <laughs> Usually a bit, I, I mean, before the break I was a bit more upbeat, but I think I've been leaning more into the chill side of things. Chilled out a lot, off stream. Friend pranking tech is crazy. If, if you're playing in groups kind of casually and you're not pranking your friends, then I think, uh, I think you should give it a shot. It's kind of fun. Definitely used to do a lot more hijinks when I first started playing the game. Okay, I think that's good enough. 2443 on the ship is not bad. I've, it's not enough yet, but... Well, actually, it's it's an, I'm on pace still. So it is enough. Also, Cosmo, in regards to the mental, we at least have our saving grace in Forsaken Frontiers coming out on October 21st. Everything will be set in stone and all right once that happens. <laughs> Just kind of been in the Forsaken Frontiers waiting room ever since that closed beta closed. Brutal Company is pretty tame, it seems. People have asked me why I never did any Brutal Company minus stuff. And, uh, my... My perception of Brutal Company at the time was that it was kind of just regular Lethal Company with some modifiers that may or may not be interesting. And it's so far proving to still be true, even with the extra changes and whatnot for V60+. That might be with the way I'm approaching the game as well. But I feel like it shouldn't matter like that, you know? Let's sell some of these. 270. <laughs> the Brutal Company is the uh, uh, plushies we collected along the way. I don't know if I have anything that's worth exactly 50. Hmm. Got 40, 36, 58, 31. Do I just oversell by 10 and call it a day? I don't have to oversell by 30 or by by that much actually. How much is this cookie mold sheet worth? These don't tend to be worth a lot, right? 15? Perfect. Pretty sure I have something around 35. Right? I need 50? I think I need 50. 
26. Oh, 36. Perfect. We can sell one of the Easter eggs. Reduce our chances of getting blown up. Okay, well we still blow up anyway. I didn't even do that the safe way. There's a safe way to sell eggs. That's not- that's not it. Where's the plushie would scream when dragged off? Let's see. Will it happen? Did not. How long has it been? Um... I think like... Two weeks or so? Maybe three? Okay. Oh, we're sold by one, but that's an improvement from our previous quotas. That's now three quotas down. Almost halfway there. Smooth sailing. How much money do I have? 677? So after this quota, I'll be able to get a jetpack. 453, by the way. Mild weather on assurance. Getting the most mild assurance runs ever. I said this in my off-stream assurance run, but I said that assurance was treating me nicely because I spent so long away that it wanted to give me an enjoyable return, so that way I get stuck again. It seems like it's doing it again today. But that run also gave me um, a not-so-easy last quota. So maybe it's just storing all the difficulty beyond quota 6. And I'm once again punished for not bringing a key. This is okay. Because we just go check a main instead. And then when we take our inventory back from main, we go fire exit. Gonna be a Bracken hoarding bug outside day? Wouldn't mind that too much. I have some experience playing in Brutal Company, and in like the worst version of it, so... Wait, is it, is it this day that has it? The ship has arrived a little late. Turrets. I mean, how do... How does having more turrets... ...differ from the run I've already had? So, thanks for the sub, Steam Ham. Steamed Ham is 22. Okay. So I've already had a lot of turrets on my run, so... Oh, okay, well. That's a very decent plastic cup, by the way. 32? It's kind of nuts. Okay. It's not that way. This way. What's the event now? It's a. Uh, it says Burb. Um, ship arrived a little late. Oh, this apparatus room. Make sure there's no turrets in here before I full send. Which way are you facing, though? Okay. Easy enough. I'm not even gonna go back for that other garbage lid. I don't think it's worth it. I think this is good enough. Yeah, it says burbs, ship has arrived a little late, and turrets. But I mean, turrets has just kind of been my assurance run anyway. Never get spooked playing alone like this. Um, I mean, I got spooked. I get spooked when that singing guy is on the map, at least, because that's unfamiliar territory for me. But I've been playing. Solo Lethal Company for quite a while, and uh, and when it comes to when it comes to games like this where there's a scary element but also an objective element, um, at some point the objective element takes over. So when I was first learning Lethal Company, there were times when I would jump a lot at different things. But then as I, but every every enemy kind of has a fair way to counter it or play against it, and once you start learning the counterplay. Then it becomes less of a scary thing and more of a tactical thing. It's like, okay, now there's a thumper instead of instead of freaking out, there's ways to play around them. It's like, okay, I can 
if I'm not armed, then I just kind of have to dodge and lose sight and make sure I'm not in its patrol path and I'm good. Or if I have a shovel, then um, I just got to get good at killing thumpers with a shovel, which I think I've gotten pretty decent at. It's funny, I'm more confident in fighting a thumper than I am a spider. Even though spiders are supposed to be the easier ones. I've just gotten mixed up too many times by spiders in my most recent playthroughs. But thumpers, I kind of got on lock. Only problem with giants? Yeah. Uh, for solo play, that's why I bring stun grenades for giants. And I think the, that's where the belt bag can come into play for solo play. Because a lot of times bringing, bringing enough stun grenades to survive a giant isn't always worth it. Especially since you can kind of stealth around giants still sometimes. It's like... Investing... Oh. Investing a whole inventory slot, or maybe even two for stun grenades. It's kind of difficult to do sometimes. But I think if I have the, the belt bag, I can bring as many stun grenades as I need. And be be chill. I'm not gonna need that on assurance, hopefully. I mean assurance has, I think, a less than one percent chance to spawn giants. In which case I'm kinda just boned if it happens, because Well, actually that's not even true. Because as long as it doesn't spawn in this quota specifically, I should be okay, because I'll have a jetpack after this. And if I die to a giant when I have a jetpack, then that's one hundred percent a skill issue. Okay, make sure there's no turret in this room before I full send. There is a hoarding bug somewhere, though. Because I just heard an egg drop. Oh. This is the other side of the big room. I think we're good, though. But yeah. So, I guess to finish that thought... At some point, games like this, or at least for me, don't become scary because I'm focused on completing an objective. Whereas, if I play a game that's mainly a scary game, like, for example, Outlast or Amnesia, I'm pulling out some old, uh, <laughs> some old, older examples. Um, those, those games I'm scared the whole way through. Because the whole point is for it to be a scary game. And... There isn't much of an objective to focus on other than puzzles that help progress the plot point. But the thing with those games is that they also don't really have a lot of replay value. It's kind of you play once and then you get you have that experience under your belt. Unless you try to do speedruns or challenges for it. In which case, you have imposed your own objective and then it becomes not scary anymore because of familiarity. I would say like... Probably the most I've been scared in this game was... It's, it's all metallic. Don't expect mines. Wait. Is this stormy weather? Hmm. It seems stormy. Let's drop one of these outside and check. We're not gonna wait and check though, we're gonna loot and check. Hmm. Oh, mains. Mains right here. I'm like very wary of turrets. And also that spike trap sound effect. Mold pan apparatus. I might just pull this on this. No, you're gonna take something. Okay. Oh, hey. Now I can kill the hoarding bug if I have to, if I must. What do you have over there? That's 55? You're dead. Yeah, give me that. Uh, the only thing about him spawning there is that I think the rest of them are going to spawn through there also. So I'm just going to have to fight off all of the hoarding bugs as they spawn in. So I'm going to hold on to the shovel. I 
died more to my teammates walking on landmines near me. I feel that. <laughs> I don't... Okay, hold on. I forgot that we might be in stormy weather. I don't personally step on landmines too much. I don't think. But I also don't play multiplayer enough to where my teammates will kill me. From stepping on landmines also. It used to happen a lot early though. I think this is a loot room over here. It's gonna be worth checking out. Yep. Maybe not. I mean I get a I at least get a big bolt out of it. What a shame. I can't I mean I can't be that upset. Cause uh that one day gave me four Gokus in one room. Can't always be lucrative, that room. I'm s somehow getting the feeling that this isn't just- this isn't a stormy weather. It's- it's rainy, isn't it? Yeah, there's a- there's an event that turns the plushies into Goku. It's kind of silly. Grab the soccer ball. Oops. Oops, too far. Oh, hold on. I might want to pick it up. Just in case. Now we're good. Oh, we're almost not good. The Goku plushies were worth quite a bit. Almost got a 300 inventory off just Goku. Okay, yeah, this is. I think this is rainy weather, so we're gonna. We're gonna do it like this. Although this is a heavy inventory, and it is worm territory, so. Or worm time. So I'm gonna have to be ready to drop everything if a worm decides to show itself. Ball is metallic? <laughs> I guess so. Cause it this is it's it said it's an all metallic uh moon. There's one where hoarding bugs just kamikaze. Good to know. Glad it wasn't this one. Cause I did just run straight at the hoarding bug. But I'd imagine that the name of the event will clue me into that. Cause if it doesn't then that wouldn't be cool. Does it also turn Bracken into Goku? Oh, I hope so. How's it going, Roy? Didn't Dono wall you this time. <laughs> I, um, so far, I haven't even seen a Bracken on my run yet. So I'd like to keep it that way. I swear I don't do it on purpose. Okay, now I have a whole collection of soccer balls here. And then I still have stuff at main entrance, so I'm gonna go back for that, and then get my stuff at fire exit, and call it a day. Oh. Alright, so there's the worm. How's it going, scrub -a pup But that was probably the most difficult inventory to bring back. So, it should be chill now. As long as I don't uh, mess up the return versus the worm here, it should be okay. I might even go back for the, go for the fire exit stuff now. I'm pretty sure I don't have a two-handed item over there. I just take it all at one go. And then, if worse comes to worse, I have the scaffolding that I can play around also. Make sure I have just a little bit of stamina to deal with worms if I have to. 
If I do have a two-handed item here, though, it's not the end of the world. Not sure if that assurance jump works anymore in V64, so I'm just going to climb up. The one where you go on the scaffolding up and up to the fire exit. I was only ever good at that jump once in my Lethal Company career though, when I first learned it. And then I never used it again after that. So I'm out of practice anyway. I also just remembered the rock jump there. I have to see if that one works also. Probably doesn't, yeah. I'd imagine that that one specifically doesn't work anymore. At the very least. Like if there if there's one that's gonna work, it's probably this one. But I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna bet on that. It was really sad when I saw a lot of the skill jumps taken out of the game. But hopefully doing so makes the game more immersive for people. Because I was definitely unimmersed doing the Val fire exit jump while playing the game. Definitely wasn't an expression of my boss level employee tactics. Or anything like that. Okay. I think there's another dog here, actually. You can still do scaffold, it's just slightly harder. Heard that. Um, I think I'm gonna wait for him to walk away before I drop down here. Oh, perfect. There's a baboon hawk to distract him. First eyelids dog and baboon hawk of the run, by the way. Can I close this? V56, V64 changed slopes again. V64 killed offense jumps. That's sad. You know, just playing as intended, I, it seems. Actual use for the extension ladder now. But also, what use is there to go to offense in the first place? <laughs> I feel like the offense skill jumps were some of the most fun jumps in the game, too. It's a shame. hate baboon hawks. I still don't like them very much, but ever since I watched Alter Ego's video on baboon hawk AI, it's become a lot more bearable. Harpred is feeling good today. Mysterious ailment is making the enemies fragile. If only I had a shovel. By the way, this is actually stormy weather, but this is this is the same rain as last time, and I had no stormy weather. Oh god, well there's actual lightning this time. Confirmed. Wow. Actually got a decent room here. Is toilet paper still conductive in this? I mean, I guess we'll find out, huh? I'm pretty sure red cups aren't anymore, though. What's getting struck? Magnifying glass. As a solo offense runner, I'm in pain. I feel like being a solo offense runner, that's just pain by default, but it... At least, you know, the skill jumps gave you something. Now you just have offense. Looks like I'm gonna have to do an offense only run as well. My first reaction to hearing that these jumps were taken out of the game was, damn that sucks. And two, I now have to do a Val only run with no jump available to me. And, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, well, that was scary. <laughs> so, as if I get if, for the person who asked me if I still get scared in Lethal Company, the answer is yes. It's just very specific situations. My entire run just flashed before my eyes right now. Wait, something's okay. Toilet paper is still conductive. That's cool. At least whipping cushions aren't anymore, right? I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I was like, where, where did that guy even spawn from? But then I saw the vent in the very corner. I was like, okay, fair enough. Okay, lightning at least doesn't kill through the ship. Oh, lightning still can kill through the ship. 
if it ends up striking something on the outside of your ship and you're standing too close to a wall. Uh, I don't have any reason to believe that that's still- or that's- that that's not a thing still. But I had to watch the lightning just to make sure that, you know, it didn't clip through the ceiling. I've never had an issue of lightning clipping through the ceiling, it's just through the side walls where the AoE goes through it sometimes. Wasn't something I was willing to mess with in a patch I haven't played yet. When Azikas makes an item default conductive, yes. Alright, belt bag conductive, heard that. <laughs> Enemies have less health, and everything is on sale today. Hmm, I think I could just buy a- I should buy my jetpack now then, right? In the storm, who cares? Wait, I should leave a conductive item. Wait, let's- let's see how on sale we're talking. Oh. Lock picker and flashlight on sale? Scammed. Maybe it's scrap only? Oh, wait, did I just kick this? I might have just kicked two soccer balls off the ship, guys. Because I had four in this corner. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I still have one here. I might have lost one, though. I'm gonna be sh Oh, no. It's right here. We're good. All my balls are in place. Is the pouch conduct- I have no idea. <laughs> um... I haven't- That- that's just me exposing myself for not having watched um, everyone's videos on the bag yet. But I don't- if, I don't know if it's something that's been tested. In the whoopee cushion corner above the terminal area. Like up here? Oh, above the terminal. Like, right up here? Oh. On the vent thing. Oh, damn, how do you- I, I don't even know how to put them up there, brother. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna keep it real. I saw- I saw that June had her stuff up there, and I was like, yo, spot's kind of comp. Move, move terminal into wog, grab item, look up, drop. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Now now we're cooking. I think. Wait, did I Are There two soccer balls up there? There is. Wait, Roy. I shouldn't have done this cuz now this is going to get patched out too. <laughs> Every bit of fun is going to get patched out. Do you think this is intended? Maybe it's intended. I think it's intended. <laughs> well, I'm never not gonna do that anymore. I could say the same thing about Vow Jump, and even earlier than V50 though. It's only a matter of time. Okay. 4.53. I'm gonna get rid of the toilet paper. Toilet paper can go. That's just easily the best spot for those items. I don't think I'm gonna put them anywhere else now. But anything that reduces variety of play probably gets removed. <laughs> I'm writing that down for- oh actually, in Forsaken Frontiers, you don't even have to worry about scrap being annoying. So. Everyone look out for Forsaken Frontiers, October 21st. I think no matter what Zeekers changes, people are gonna find workarounds. <laughs> Let's see, 282. So I need to sell 171 more. Missed the flash sale on third day of this quota. I checked, I checked though. Did I not? And they only had, uh, unless it has to be at the beginning of the day, I guess. If it was at the beginning of the day, then 
yeah, I definitely missed it. But I checked at the end and only flashlights and lockpickers were on sale. Forsaken has all the quality of life we wanted, for real. Hell yeah. Okay. Since I don't have an accurate read of what I just sold right now, we're gonna sell that and then see what's left over. Zeker's gonna completely remove jumping now. That's not gonna stop me. I've... I've like dabbled with a no jump lethal company run. That would probably make some people quit the game though, but that just gives me a video to do instead. I mean, Zekers can do whatever he wants, honestly. It's his game. And, um... Uh, I'm going to Forsaken Frontiers October 21st anyway, so... <laughs> Maylene is, um... Very adamant about Forsaken Frontiers being very difficult to mod. So I'm very- I'm curious to see what happens when the game drops. And if people find a way to do it. What would make me quit Lethal? If it stopped making me money. <laughs> Uh, or if something else performs a lot better. Oh, modding jump for lethal, absolutely. For sure. Anything that gets taken out or added into the game that people don't like, someone immediately mods the stuff back in or mods the stuff out. It's just kind of an unwritten rule about lethal company. Get a jetpack now. And if they if they if they stay on top of adding new stuff to Forsaken Frontier, I mean I'm already not someone who mods a lot in the first place, and just with the base game of Forsaken Frontiers, with what they intend to have, like the story mode and nightmare mode and whatnot, I already have like a list of things that I want to do with just the base game, not including the. You freaking serious? <laughs> what is this thing? What is this? The best. Wait, can I even use this? Is that copyright? Is that copyright music? Because I'm not going to use the jetpack if it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, looks like the jetpack is a waste of money. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk that. I don't care about getting DMCA'd on Twitch, but if it messes with my YouTube bag, then I'm gonna have a problem. I, I'm on pace without the jetpack. We got to take a look at the funny. I think we're good. <laughs> Can you remove it out of the mod pack? I hope so. I didn't- I didn't look too hard into it. I just kind of... I just kind of went with the default settings on the High Quota HQ. And assumed that, you know, that Brutal Company Minus was vetted enough. But, you know... To their defense, they don't vet mod packs for content creators, they vet mod packs for high quota runners. I just happen to be primarily a content creator rather than a high quota runner. This probably doesn't matter for most people. It matters to me though. It's on minus extra, because for the high quota HQ, if you do run V60+, plus, then you use Brutal Company minus extra. And then for anything below that, you run Brutal Company minus by drinkable water. Appreciate you, Royru. Joke, if, you don't, if you're not aware of who Royru is, Royru is one of the top high quota and speedrunners in Lethal Company, and also um, a Super Mario Maker 2 runner. And he's very on top of like all the technical stuff. I'm actually going to be releasing our video where we did Lethal Company Randomizer, where we went to moons and had to determine what loot tables and monster tables there were, we were experiencing, and... I learned a lot from playing with him too. Just a lot, being able to identify moons based on what loot and monsters show up was crazy. And Roy run, but what Roy won by quite a few points. Okay, let's do this. The ultimate fine dining experience, appropriate for a chef on assurance. Wasn't that one with Nico? Uh, it was with Nico, 
It was with Nico, Royru, and Anthran. There was four of us. I stream well, like we all streamed it once. I just haven't put it to YouTube yet. But that was like one of the most fun streams that I've done for a Lethal Company. I wanted to give it a full, uh, full YouTube treatment with editing and whatnot, but I think I'll just upload it fully, at least with an intro. It was kind of fun keeping up with it in real time as well. Hmm. Wait. That wasn't... Hold on. That wasn't a, uh... Channel point redemption, was it? What's going on here? Guys, do I have indoor worms? I, I had to double check, because... I, I thought that might have just been, like, a poorly timed channel point, or bit redemption. But it seems like I actually have indoor worms. Okay, good to know. I'm probably the only person who has experience with indoor worms, uh, uh, unless people have brutal com or prior to brutal company minus being a thing. Don't worry about what that means too much. Okay, we'll have to run. <laughs> Wait, it's kind of forcing me deeper into the facility, and I don't like that. Okay, I think it ate the snare flea. <laughs> Wait, do I even play this? Like... I think I'm supposed to leave, right? Hmm... Is this a leave angle? This seems like a leave angle. But I'm, I already checked this room, didn't I? But what kind of content creator would I be if I left just because things got dangerous? I already have to deal with worms outside, bro. Why do I gotta deal with worms inside? So for anyone who was waiting for something interesting to happen in Brutal Company, today's the day. It's finally happened. Also, look at that trick shot. Is it also thumpers? Hmm. Oh my god, they're outside! Wait, where are they gonna go? <laughs> what is going on out here? If I get snare fleet outside, I'm gonna be upset. Where did that snare fleet even go? Did you see that? It went up into the sky? I'm gonna get... <laughs> True. I actually have time to outplay these worms. I, I I said it before you got here, Roy, but um, I played a high quota assurance off stream like two days ago in version 40, and I was worried very much about uh, pre patch worms. And yeah, now I don't have to worry about it. And you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it even less because now that I know that enemies are outside, we're leaving. So all that talk about being the content creator who doesn't go in. That's gonna be me today. I'm gonna wear that label for now. I wanna be on this leaderboard, damn it. Sign Austin up for Madrid. Yeah, I kinda had to turn them down or uh, or else I wouldn't be able to play Lethal Company. Or Dead by Daylight. I, I like I like the worm fix for sure. The only thing about the worm being fixed is that I get made fun of for dying to worms. <laughs> Which I think is valid now. I don't think it was as valid before. Radio system offline. Facility lacks a proper waste disposal. It's also eclipsed. Wait, there's toilet paper on the ground. Guys, scrap is outside. Hmm. Garbage lid. I hear uh, the apparatus on my bottom left, by the way. But I don't know how important it is to grab the apparatus today. Especially with these two-handed items. That toilet paper is probably worth more anyway. I'm in the bracket and make it laggy. I hope not. I actually didn't download Pathfinding Lag Fix. This time. Oh, it's just right here. Okay, I will grab it then.
I didn't download Pathfinding Lag Fix because it, it was... I was under the assumption that that's been fixed. Since V60. But I haven't taken Outdoor Brackens into account for that. So maybe I should have still downloaded it. But if, if it kills me, that's my mistake to worry about. Huh. There's even bottles out here too. Well, I've... Guys, why did I even go inside? There's scrap outside. Why's it gotta be Eclipse today, though? Huh, wait, all the loot's- wait. Okay, I'm- I'm gaming today. We're gonna game. As long as I don't see any, like, dogs or anything. We're playing this. Oh god. No, I'm out of stamina. Had to drop the apparatus there just to make sure that we were okay. Double worms. But the loot outside is kind of too juicy to ignore. Is that a garbage can loot? That cookie mold pen is worth 52. How much is this worth? This has got to be worth a lot. One, six. I'm going to be running back into the worm, though, so I think I'm going to run this way. There's two worms, though. So as long as I don't run into both of them, I'll be okay. This is just proper worm management, guys. Don't worry. I'm kind of looking down so I can see over the toilet paper as well. And we just run that circle, like, two more times. How much is this worth? 37? Yeah. Actually, I run from the back. Didn't even notice it's a clipped outside? Yeah. That's a thing. Actually, I can run this back real fast. I don't think there's any harm in doing that. And then now it's just pickle- oh, I, now I can get the bottles also. Now that I've decided to do this. There's a worm directly under me, but it can't get me because I'm up on the ship right now. Let's make some distance, hopefully. So that way we can recover some stamina before it decides to aggro. That was the only skill grab of the run so far. Grabbing that steering wheel without um, losing forward momentum. We go slightly this way so the worm tracks that way, hopefully, and then... Now we run this way. Maybe this is just too precautionary. But you know. When you don't exactly know where the worms are, it's better to be safe, I think. Now we're gonna get a little bit of downhill help here. There's a dog now, so... I have to be a little careful. I'm gonna go this way. Looks like we're gonna be okay. Cool. Pretty solid run, I'd say. I'll take it. Stamina stamina regenerates slower if you run out of it. What? What? Nah. I was Bro. <laughs> What? Is that even fair? Huh? Dude. <laughs> Do I have to like be on top of the ship when I leave now? When you flip the switch, all inside safety is turned off. Huh. Hmm, that has... <laughs> Alright, so... Not sure what to think about that. Standing on the switch podium is usually safe. Well, now I know for next time at least. We are reaching the hour 45 minute mark, which is kind of like the sweet spot for YouTube anyway, so I guess this run wasn't meant to be. Get to do it again some other time, though, at least. 400 plus hours of Lethal Company? That's never happened to me. 
<laughs> yeah, d killed inside the ship, door was closed. That's unfortunate. Um, all right. So I guess that's it for the assurance run. <laughs> Lower on the model you pick up the toilet paper, the more you can see over it. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. But to answer the question about stamina regenerating slower if you run out of it, I don't think so. I think stamina only regenerates slower when you're moving, if I'm not mistaken. The reason why it seems slower is because the stamina bar goes farther than the bar is shown to go through. So like right now, I still have stamina even though I'm out of the bar. So when it starts recovering, it's also recovering that invisible part of the bar. So I don't think it's slower. I'm sure there's math on it somewhere. The Takey jetpack is in Takey plush. Maybe there's a conflict to remove it. I wonder if removing it though, if that violates the rules of H of the high quota HQ. I'll probably have to I'll probably have to ask the Discord if removing this is a thing. Just remove the jump until you have the stamina for it. Heard that. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, one of two things is going to happen. I was either going to make it on the leaderboard first try, or something crazy is going to happen that would stop me from doing it. So this time it was the latter. So, it's unfortunately it for the assurance only run, so we're going to pivot into something else. <laughs>